Welcome to the motor analysis using some expert tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to import a parasolid geometry, how to create an astro job for modal analysis, and how to view the mode shapes. Start some expert in the structures workspace, and before starting the project, ensure that SI units is the current unit selection. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will import a parasolid geometry. From the file menu, Navigate to Import and select the Parasolid option. Select the Parasolid from its current save directory and click Open to import the Parasolid. To mesh the geometry, we will use the Solid option in the Auto Mesh section. For the solid to mesh, select the geometry in the model display window and change the element size to 0.01 meter. Note that because we are using tetrahedral elements, it is highly recommended that we use quadratic element types. Click OK to create the mesh. We will now assign properties and create a material for the current geometry. Under the Materials and Properties tab, select Isotropic. For this tutorial we will use Steel, with the properties as shown in the window. Click OK to create the material. To assign properties to the geometry, Use the Solid option under the 3D Properties section. Rename the property, and for the Entities field, select the part in the model browser. For the material, select the Created Steel property. Click OK to assign the property. Note that for simplicity, we will not add boundary conditions to the current model. However, it is highly recommended that when you analyze your model, you should add representative boundary conditions as applied to the model in a real life situation. Now create a new Nastrain job by right clicking on File Set in the model browser and selecting Create New Nastrain Job. Rename the job. Then ensure that the solution type is set to Modal Analysis SOL103. Save the job in the desired location and click OK to create the job. Now edit the job settings by double clicking on load case control in the model browser. In the number of desired roots field, specify the number of eigenvalues which is desired. Here we will use 12. Set the result normalization method to maximum. This ensures that the eigenvectors will be normalized according to the maximum value. Click apply and then close. Now run the simulation by right clicking on it in the model browser and selecting the Run option. When the job run is completed, navigate to File, Attach Results, and attach the .xdb file. To view the mode shapes, we will use the Deformation option under the Results tab. Because we did not add boundary conditions to the model, the first six mode shapes are rigid body modes. This can be seen by the fact that the frequency values are virtually zero. If we were to view the rigid body mode shapes, it can be seen that the body does not deform in any way. It only translates or rotates. This means that the seventh mode displayed in the results case section is the first mode of the body associated with the first natural frequency of the model. Now let's take some time to view the first six mode shapes of this model. It should also be noted that any applied forces are ignored for a modal analysis and only boundary conditions are considered. Please also note that the amplitude of the mode shapes is not quantifiable as this is a time dependent property. Only the frequency and shape of these mode shapes can be calculated. This concludes the tutorial for modal analysis in SimExpert. Thank you for completing this tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by ESTEC, engineering technology for better business.